while we're talking about evil. Why does God allow evil in the earth? Do you know, that's a great question. And I've seen today that more people are perplexed with that question, the problem of evil, than the problem of science. When I, when I uh, started in the ministry, people were talking about evolution and whether or not uh, man was created. They're not that interested in that question today. They say, if there is a God, mm -hmm. how could he allow, for example, what happened in uh, New York City mm -hmm. in September the 11th? Mm -hmm. How could God allow the atrocities of war and the devastation we have in the world today? Mm -hmm. What about the problem of evil? And people have a little syllogism. Before God, there was nothing. God created everything. Evil is something. So God created evil. So God must be evil. Well, that's a faulty syllogism. Yeah. When God made the devil, the Bible says in, and by the way, God created the devil. The devil is not uh, self-existent as God is. Only mm -hmm. one self-existent. Mm -hmm. That is God. When God created Satan, he created him in perfection. Yeah. God did not create evil. God created a perfect being. Uh, in Ezekiel chapter 28, God said of Satan, you were perfect uh, in beauty. Uh, in the day that you were created, you were perfect. He's created, created in perfection. God did not create evil. He created a perfect being, but now listen. He gave that perfect being perfect freedom. Mm -hmm. Now, why did God give the angels freedom? And why does God give us freedom? Because God wants worship mm -hmm. and God wants love. Now, if God made me where I were not free, where I could not choose to do evil, then correspondingly, I couldn't choose to do good. Mm -hmm. If I cannot choose not to love God, I can't choose to love God. If I can't choose to be Loyal to God, I cannot choose to be disloyal. I would only be an inanimate object, a robot, or whatever. So God created a being perfect in wisdom and perfect in beauty, and that being chose to sin. Now, what is the highest good? The highest good, the greatest commandment, is to love God. Yes. That is the greatest commandment. This is the first and great commandment. Therefore, that is the highest good, mm. to love God. Well, in order to love God, I have to have a choice. And so God gave us the choice that we might attain the highest good. And Satan had that choice, and he blew it, he ruined it through pride. Mm -hmm. 